Hey guys, how's it going? In this video, we're going to cover three worked examples showing you how to do problems involving torque. Now, if you haven't done so already, check out my previous video covering the theory on this topic, and that way you'll be able to apply what you learned in that video to this one. So let's get started. Question one says to calculate the torque applied about the axis in each of the following. The axis of rotation is represented by the black dot. So for part A, you'll see we have a force of 15 newtons applied at a distance of 28 centimeters from the axis of rotation. So in this case, we're just gonna write down what we know from the question. So we're trying to find the torque T. We know the force is 15 newtons because it's perpendicular to the axis, so that's fine. And our distance from the axis of rotation R is 28 centimetres. So we firstly need to convert that into metres to get 0.28 metres. And then we can write down our equation. So we have T equals F times R. And substituting in the numbers, that gives us 15 times 0.28. And putting that into your calculator gives an answer of 4.2 newton meters. For part B, we have a different kind of shape with a force of 25 newtons applied at a distance of this away from the axis. Now notice that the whole length is 18 centimeters, but we only want this distance here because that is the distance at which the force of 25 newtons is applied from the axis of rotation. So it tells us that this distance here is six centimeters. So all we need to do is subtract six from 18 to get our distance and we know our force. So writing down what we know from the question, we're trying to find the torque. We know the force is 25 newtons and the distance r is given by 18 minus 6 centimetres, which is 12 centimetres. And we then need to convert that centimetres into metres, so that gives us 0.12 metres. And then we can write down our equation, t equals fr, substituting in the numbers, we have 25 times 0.12, and putting that into your calculator gives an answer of 3 newton metres. Lastly, for part C, we've got a disc of diameter 3.2 meters, and we've got a mass of four kilograms hanging from the disc. And that mass is gonna cause the disc to rotate. Now we need to be aware of two things in this question. So we're given the diameter, but we want the radius of this disc because that is gonna be the distance from the axis of rotation at which this force acts. And the force here is gonna be due to the weight of the mass. So writing down what we know from the question, we're trying to find the torque. The force is given by the weight, as we just said, so that's m times g, and we can then plug in our numbers for that. So we've got a mass of four times g on Earth, which is 9.8, which gives an answer of 39.2 newtons for the weight or the force. And then our distance r from the axle rotation is given by the diameter divided by two, it's just the radius, which is equal to 3.2 meters divided by two, which is 1.6 meters. So writing down our equation, we have t equals fr, and substituting in our numbers, we have 39.2 times 1.6, which gives an answer of 62.7 newton meters. Question two says that an engineer using a spanner of length 22 centimeters applies a torque of 18 newton meters to a nut. Calculate the force exerted by the engineer. So here we're given the torque and we're asked to find something else, the force. So writing down what we know from the question, we're trying to find the force F. We know that the torque is 18 newton meters and the distance from the axle of rotation R is 22 centimeters, but we need to convert that into meters, which gives us 0.22 meters. And then writing down the equation, we have T equals FR, but this time we want to rearrange it for the force F. So we get F equals T over R, and then substituting in the numbers, we get 18 divided by 0.22, which gives a final answer of 81.8 newtons. Question three says that in the spanner illustrated below, a force of 20 newtons is applied at an angle of 15 degrees, a distance of 0.1 meters from the nut on a bicycle wheel. Calculate the applied torque. So the picture sort of helps us to understand what's going on here. So we're applying a force perpendicular to that axis of rotation along here. So we're applying a force along the vertical, but we don't know what that force is yet. We're told the force along here, which is 20 newtons, and we know that this angle in here is 15 degrees. So because we only know the force applied at an angle of 15 degrees, which is 20 newtons, we want to find out the component of the force perpendicular to that axis of rotation. So it says here, we need the component of force perpendicular to the axis, and it helps to draw a little sketch first. So here's a triangle of what we've got above, and we can label some things on our triangle. So we've got an angle of 15 degrees in there. We've then got our right angle in there and we've got 20 newtons there. Now remember from higher physics, the horizontal component will be cosine and the vertical component will be a sine. So the horizontal component is given by 20 cos 15 and the vertical component is given by 20 sine 15 and that's the one that we want. So writing down what we know, we're trying to find the torque. We know the force is given by the vertical component of the force, which is 20 sine 15. And if you put that into your calculator, you should get 5.18 newtons. And lastly, we're told that the distance r from the nut is 0.1 meters. 
So writing down our equation, we have t equals fr, and substituting in the numbers, we have 5.18 times 0.1, which gives a final answer of 0.52 newton meters. That's all for this video, folks. I hope you found it useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.